pa 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 penguin i am a penguin and i'm doing a penguin dance pa pa da, pa 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 i am a penguin penguin enjoy the video hello and welcome back to tea in the deep blue sea with me victoria today i'm going to be talking all about the humboldt penguin they are so cute and so adorable and i can't wait to share all of my facts with you Thank you very much for tuning in to watch. I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Cheers. Humboldt penguin, Sphiniscus humboldti. Humboldt penguins are an interesting species of penguin that live in desert areas along the South American coastline and have often been seen making their nests under cactuses. They are one of the most common penguins in UK zoos, so if you want to see these fascinating creatures in action, you have a lot of chances. The Humboldt penguin and the cold water current it swims in are both named after the explorer Alexander von Humboldt. The average lifespan for a Humboldt penguin in captivity is 15 to 20 years, although the eldest one reached 36. These penguins are carnivores or piscivores since they eat fish. Part of their habitat features rocky cliffs, so getting on and offshore can be a challenge. There is a long drop down the cliff that they have to face every day to bring back food to feed their families. They jump and tumble down this cliff since they cannot fly. Their bellies are good for sliding and they have feathers to protect their skin. At the bottom of the cliff there are hundreds of sea lions. They are a predator in the water to penguins but are slower on land when they are in the sun. The Humboldt penguins must climb over these to get to the water in order to catch fish. Once in the water they can swim with their torpedo shaped bodies at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour and can dive underwater in search of prey such as fish, shrimp and squid where they can hold their breath for 18 minutes. They have to be careful to watch out for predators such as seals, sea lions, orcas and white sharks. As well as using their feet as paddles they can use them to steer in the water. Penguins have waterproof feathers as well as a protective lens that covers their eyes when they go underwater. In order to get back up the cliff, the penguins use their sharp claws and webbed feet to grip. On land, a group of penguins is called a waddle, a colony, a rookery or a penguinery. In the water, a group of penguins is called a raft. As we learned in my previous camouflage video, Penguins employ a technique called countershading, where they are dark from the top, so they blend in when seen from above, and have white bellies, so when seen from below in the ocean, they blend in with the light from above. Penguins make a lot of different sounds and use these to communicate with each other. Their calls are very distinctive and they can recognise each other in a big group of noisy penguins. Like other penguins, Humboldts find a lifelong mate. During courtship, they bow their head and use alternating eyes to exchange glances with penguins of the opposite sex. They stretch their heads up, flap their wings and let out a large call to attract a partner. The male and female penguin work together to make the nest in guano. Both take turns sitting on the egg whilst the other goes to get food. Once the chicks have hatched, on average they have two, they take turns to keep the chick warm and bring back food. They swallow the food and then regurgitate it for the chick to eat. Babies are born with brown feathers, not black. After about 70 to 90 days, the penguin will molt and get grey adult feathers. Up until they get their adult feathers, the baby penguins are not able to maintain their body temperature, so they rely on their parents to keep them warm. They will not get their black band across the chest until they reach adulthood, which is around two years, when they will leave and go to look for their own mate. According to the IUCN Red List, the Humboldt penguin is vulnerable with an estimated 23,800 mature individuals left, with their numbers decreasing. This is due to threats such as habitat destruction, overfishing, as well as climate change and severe weather. They often nest in layers of guano, the poo of seabirds, bats and seals. This is being harvested as a fertiliser, destroying their habitat. Their food source is becoming scarce due to overfishing too. There is also the potential for oil spills to affect some colonies. Climate change is also threatening Humboldt penguins. The warmer water coming up from the Arctic is causing the number of fish to decrease, making it even harder for Humboldt penguins to find food. An interesting fact about Humboldt penguins is that they can blush in order to avoid overheating. They have an area on their face and feet that are not covered by feathers. They can turn these from pink to red to release excess heat. And a cheeky little bonus fact for you is a penguin's tongue is covered with spines, which help it to catch and hold on to its prey. 
So that was my video all about the Humboldt Penguin. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did like this video, remember to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you aren't already, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.